Hello nerds! We are going to unbox some more miniatures for you. And these are interesting. So if you'll notice the word Ravnica. So these are Magic the Gathering miniatures from WizKids as part of the Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica, which is the new source book for D&D. So the Wizards of the Coast properties, Magic and D&D, they are coming together like peanut butter and chocolate. Uh, with a D&D &D book, and these are the miniatures for it. It's a full brick, so eight boosters. Each booster has four miniatures. And here's the deal. I don't know a thing about magic. Not a thing. Um, so I'm sure I'm going to get a lot of um actuallys in the comments when I talk about these miniatures and don't know a thing. But this is what's interesting. I got the book. I got a review copy of the book from Wizards of the Coast. Not knowing a thing about magic, and I really am intrigued. So it's working. So non-magic people are now interested in magic, and here are some miniatures. WizKids makes great stuff, so let's look and see what they did for this new set. All right, so this first booster is an ogre. Now again, as a D&D Guy, this is not the kind of ogre I grew up with. This is a Magic the Gathering ogre. That is much different than man. He is gnarly and he is cool. And I like it already. Second miniature. Each booster has four. This is really cool here. This is Druid of the Old Ways. Shh, let's be really quiet. You can hear my eight-year-old fighting bedtime upstairs. Can you hear her? Oh, no. I guess she's finally submitted to her mother's leadership. Okay, this is really cool here. So a druid, a lot of minotaur. I guess this is something that is um, part of magic, part of Ravnica. Again, I don't know a thing about magic. But when I see this, what I think about is Dragonlance. So, two more minis. We'll speed this up. I'm wanting to look at every single one of these miniatures too closely. And I realize you want me to go faster. So, here we have Fire Fist. Wow, that's cool. He has a fire sword. Not a fire fist, but hey, whatever. Can't get all the names literal. And so, the next, this is the Mind drinker vampire man magic is darker than i thought it was again not knowing anything about magic lore we talk a lot nerds on earth in our slack channel that's how us nerds we're just a gaggle of nerds who like to banter around in our slack channel and so i asked some folks not knowing magic um if they knew anything about it and most of us strangely didn't so we're really intrigued, and I did not realize that magic was as dark as it was. So I asked the nerds in Slack how you share the magic lore on just a card. And they said, you know, you can get more lore in just a couple sentences than you think. But man, look at this. These are, I mean, these are remarkable figures. I am so happy and intrigued that this D&D &D magic crossover is happening. I think this is going to be huge. And if not, it's already gotten this one nerd because I am all for it seeing this stuff. I mean, look at this. Again, much darker and gnarlier than, than I thought. It doesn't seem like it's Warhammer dark and gritty, but it's definitely a little a little darker than what you'd typically find with D and D. I guess is this the magic version of like a D and D cobalt, perhaps, or a, some type of lizard folk or something, Quatao or something. All right, so this is another spirit. Again, lots of spirits and those type of things. I'm gonna move this slide the figures over here so that you can see them again 
maybe get a look at them in the background and I will open another booster here and see what we have. Oh, well, this isn't dark at all. This is a Guardian. So this, I am, I can't help myself. I have the heart of a paladin, so I see stuff like this and I get, I get excited. That is a cool figure, I love it. My gosh, I love this already. I am so excited. WizKids makes great miniatures. So it's really cool to, to see these come to life. The paint jobs are good, the sculpts are good. I think a lot of D and D fans who aren't into Magic are going to be intrigued. I don't know if Magic players will become D and D players. I don't know if it'll go both directions, but my gosh, there is no reason not to get excited about these miniatures. They are fantastic. Gosh. Now again, so I was flipping through the D and D book, got the review copy, and I didn't know anything about Ravnica, so I'm learning about the guilds. So you Magic fans can call me a dummy for not knowing anything about the 10 guilds. But I read through that and I think, wow, that has got a lot to offer for adventures and just a, a city adventure. That's neat. Well, this is a Sphinx. It's kind of standard fare for most fantasy realms to have a Sphinx. I don't know which of these would be player characters, which would be, you know, the common races in Magic, which would be villainous. This looks like a guildmaster here. I just mentioned that the guilds in Ravnica. This looks like a guildmaster. So that is interesting. What do we have here? This looks like some time of, I see a see some type of wizard here a mage now we're talking dude that's rad that is a fine looking now look at this paint job holy smokes well done whiz kids and look at this little effect that they have here I mean, these are great miniatures and i love the booster blind boosters you get to um yeah it's just you get to open it up and see what you get which is a lot of fun. Oh, this guy is really neat. This is a, a strange non sequitur, but the first thing that this reminded me of is Zartan's Dread, Dreadnoughts from G.I. Joe, Road Pig. I don't know why that's, this guy reminded me of that, but there you have it. All right, so we're four down, four to go. I'll try to speed it up, but I'm just so excited looking at these that I want to take a good long look at them. All right. Our large figure. Each booster comes with a large and three mediums. The large is a giant. Um, by D&D standards, that's not very giant. But for magic, I guess that's the scale that they work in. So WizKids makes a lot of these miniatures. They make, of course, just the standard D&D sets. And then the Pathfinder Battles, which are fantastic for the Pathfinder role-playing game, fantasy role-playing game. And there are a lot of the Pathfinder Battle sets in particular. There's, oh, I'd say at least 10 of them, and they're all really well sculpted and well painted. Now that is just a wee little something. All right, the last figure in this booster, and then we got some other things we gotta we gotta look at. Conclave. I wonder if that's one of the one of the guilds or something to do with the magic guilds. Well, I don't know that I'm gonna become a magic player. That just seems too overwhelming to me to get in at this point and fight my way through through that mess, but I am certainly interested in the lore at this point. I don't know what this might be a weird. I don't know if that's a particular magic term. All right, this is gonna be a little slower. This guy's got a little seatbelt on to keep him from popping out. 
we'll, we will get him out of here. Oh, that popped him off the base. But look at this guy. Holy guacamole. This is another ogre. Again, if you're an old school D&D player, this isn't the kind of ogre that you're used to, but magic folks, you can let me know. That is some gnarly stuff that you guys are into. All right, this looks like a little yeah, cackler, some sort of little, little demon, little demon creature looks fire breathing or something. And then here's another one in the base has popped off. Sometimes that happens. It's easy to just glue them back on. No worries. This is an assassin, a dusk mantle. That might be another guild. I'm not sure. But by golly, I am digging the sculpts and the look and feel and the lore of magic, something that I knew nothing about. All right, the final two boosters. So we're just about done, folks, and then we're going to look at some of the special sets that come with this. That is great, too. We already looked at this guy, but, man, he's so cool looking. I want to take another look. Put that back so you can really take a look at the... I mean, look at that sculpt and the paint job. It's a fantastic-looking figure. All right. Brick has eight boosters. Each booster has four figures, a large and three mediums. That was a large. These are the mediums. A lot of druids in magic. Or maybe I'm just getting a lot, but I'm not complaining because they look sharp. Seems like a lot of metal for a druid, though. I'm just saying. Druids would use more wood. But these are magic druids, so I need to stop talking about things I don't know about. This guy, somebody can tell me who he is. He looks like he might be somebody. I'm sure he has his own magic card, right? Good-looking sculpt, good-looking figure. And here is another spirit. We've seen one of these before. All right, last, last booster. And I'm not going to lie, there is a big... There is one of these guys that I was wanting to get. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The Death Pact Angel. That's kind of crazy. I wanted to get that. And then this guy. I have no idea what he's about, but he looks really interesting. So let's see if my luck ran out. And lucky, lucky what we got. Oh, my gosh. I mean, it's like this crazy salamander where this... The little croaking, man, I don't even know how to describe what this is, but man, this is cool. What a great, great, fun figure. Well, that's fun, getting that in the last booster, something I was hoping we would. That's what's great about these blind boosters. You don't know what you're going to get, and it's always like a little, little surprise. Little mob boss. I mean, that's great goblin now again if you're a DD &D person this these are not the goblins that you're used to these are magic goblins so i look at this and i think to myself there is no one that does goblins better than paizo and pathfinder but hey it's goblin and you gotta like that apologies on my cold it happens and then i think my year old finally did make it to bed so that's good there's a guild master. And again, I really like this. Oh my gosh. That is just a fantastic looking figure. So if you're playing in a D&D &D campaign in this setting, you really got to like what your options are here. Now this is something that's wrapped up, double taped. So we'll open that so you can see there must be something fascinating in here. What do we got? What do we got? Okay. Phoenix. Oh my gosh. We got Jean Grey. That's fantastic. Right from the pages of the Dark Phoenix Saga of Uncanny X-Men, Chris Claremont Forever. So that is great. 
And you can take a look at all these figures. This, again, is a full brick, but we got a couple more things to do. So WizKids have these companion starter sets. And my gosh, I am so excited for this. Can't wait to bust into them, and I will hold them up so that you can get a good close look, because if you want to, great thing about these is you can see what you're getting, but maybe you can't get a nice close look. But now you can. The human wizard. I mean, tell me that is not just a gorgeous, fantastic, amazing miniature right there. I love it. I don't know anything about magic, so I don't know what that tank is for, but, um, you know, collecting mana or some such thing, that is great. Five figures in these little starter sets. The Human Rogue. Not as exciting, but still an amazing sculpt. These guys look a little creepier. This is a druid. Man, a lot of druids in... In magic. Man, that guy looks cool. Look at the paint job, even on the face. And even in the shades of the green. Come out great. It's a good looking figure. Here is another figure. And I like him a lot. A Minotaur fighter. I mean, how great is that? And again, it makes me think of Dragon Lance. Grin. But... This is cool. Man, look at the fist on the on the front. That just looks great. The sunburst there. And this last one is what I think is so cool because I've never seen anything like this. I'm assuming the Loxodon are these elephant people. My gosh, that's fun. Love that. The cleric. That big war hammer, big elephant man, one tusk broken, one tusk gone. I mean, that is just fantastic. So, companion starter set one. This is companion set number two. Gosh whiz, kids. It's at the top of the game with these. Because let's look at this one first. This is a human sorcerer. But look at that spell effect. And then look at all the work that's done. I mean, you can see individual chain links off of this. The paint job. All throughout, this is just a fantastic figure. I love that. There's five in these companion sets, so let's do some more. Another wizard from the Blue Man Group. Very cool. Here is a paladin. Again, look at that spell effect. It's like he's holding an umbrella. But he looks uh, ready for battle in his plate armor. Here is a wee little goblin barbarian. Again, a D&D player. This is, these are not the goblins that we are familiar with, particularly if you're a fan of Paizo and Pathfinder like I am. But that's fun, nevertheless. And this last one, a human cleric. Almost saving the best for last, you, you might say, because you look at that paint job here. Again, that spell effect that WizKids does so well. Look at the painting. You even get the arched eyebrows. Just looks so serious in the best of ways. I mean, what a great figure. And we aren't done. There is one more thing that we need to do because each set comes with a premium figure. And this Ragnica set is no different. The premium figure is Niv Mazet, which, again, not as a magic person, I don't know. And I'm sure I'll get some um actuallys on that. But I wanted to open this up so that you could see this premium figure that comes with this set. Or that is available with this set. It does come with it. You have to purchase it separately. But look at this. My gosh. My gosh. Goodness gracious. 
I mean, that is just a magnificent looking wizard. So this dragon, again, is a named dragon that I wasn't familiar with, not knowing. But man, I see this and I'm like, that is a worthy addition to D&D right there. A big red dragon. Magic the Gathering style. All right, nerds. So there you have it. I will just pan the camera over these one final time so that you can take a look. I think that's my favorite. I love that. That kind of wolf rider. That is this cool. And the dragon. This guy as well. It's fantastic. And then these beautifully, beautifully painted and sculpted figures from the companion sets. And then all these. This is the Ravnica. Icons in the Realms, Guildmaster's Guide to Ravnica, D&D, &D, Miniatures, Magic the Gathering, and both from WizKids. So it's a great set. Hope you enjoyed looking at them. Later, nerds.